that's been going on, and then Josh has to endure what he endured with his father. Just the wherewithal to come back and play, and just overall his performance this season as a whole. Yeah, you know, obviously um, with the whole Demar situation, um, you know, I just send, you know, obviously for my family, nothing but love and prayers. Um, it's a terrifying, scary situation. I'm just happy, you know, he's okay um, because when you see somebody on the field go down like that. Uh, it makes you reevaluate everything that's going on and what's important. So, uh, yeah, you know, I just got to show a lot of love to him and uh, the whole Bills organization, the way they handled it. It's incredible. And uh, obviously, Josh. Um, Josh is since day one, since I met Josh, me and him have been like this. And, um, you know, we tell each other we love each other before every game, go out of our way because um, when you have special dudes in the locker room like him, you know, they're just a little bit different. You know, it means a little bit more to him. And see him, the thing that he's overcome. The dude was homeless as a kid. Like he's he's been through it all, and um, I can go on and on about Josh Jacobs. The dude is he's got every bit of respect from me and all these guys in the locker room. So um, I'm just praying for him and his family. Um, I hope his dad's doing better. Um, I just love that dude to death. Uh, I literally go to the end of the world for him. So um, just hoping everything turns out good. Thanks. Max, this isn't obviously how you wanted the season to go, how you wanted it to end. How would you just summarize what this season meant to you, what you learned, how you grew? Um, you know, I think it's just it's part of the journey. You know, it's a blessing in disguise. That's the only way you can look at it. You can complain, you can, you know, bitch and moan, but that's not what it's about. You know, at the end of the day, um, you know, God works in mysterious ways. He's going to throw weird things at you. He's going to test you. He's going to – there's going to be a lot of things that go go on. And, um, you know, this is football at the end of the day. Um, you know, there's – I've been through a lot, a lot worse in my life. So, um, I'm going to just keep working, keep leading by example every single day. Um, the coaches know that, my teammates know that, and I'm going to just try to, you know, be a be a light for everybody. So, you know, obviously it's tough right now, but, you know, I'm just proud of the guys in the locker room. You know, we stay together regardless of the situation, and, uh, you know, we try to finish out as strong as we could. Max, what is one of the, the leaders of this team, obviously there's a lot of uncertainty in this offseason with all the moving parts. How do you kind of move forward collectively as a roster while some of things are kind of still up in the air? Um, I don't know. You know, that's not – that's out of my uh, pay grade. I just – you know, I'm going to just try to, you know, be the example, you know, every single day. As a leader, you know, I want, you know, obviously for us to keep going forward, I want to win. That's all I want to do. You know, at the end of the day, I come here, I, I work all year round um, to be the best player I can be, and I want guys like that with me, um, and that's all that matters. Um, at the end of the day, you know, I want to be, you know, I want to win here, and that's that's really all that matters. In the first half, Kansas City came out of the – I don't know. That was different. It doesn't surprise me, though. You know, Coach Reed is uh, definitely creative. And, uh, yeah, you know, they're definitely – I feel like it's – you know, they had nothing to lose either. So, at the end of the day, you know, they're trying – just trying things out to, you know, see see if it will work in the playoffs, something like that. So, you know, I know they're not trying to be, you know, embarrassed us or anything like that. Andy Reed is one of the best coaches in the game, and I got a, got a ton of love for him. As, as a defense, do you guys use that as motivation to kind of you know, move forward into offseason season to get better to where teams don't feel comfortable trying things out? You know, that's just part of the game. You know, the Chiefs are the best of the best, and uh, that's the team we're chasing, you know, at the end of the day. So, uh, you know, it's not about them. It's about us. Uh, we just got to get better. And uh, we're going to, you know, obviously this offseason, they're going to do everything they can to, you know, improve this team, and uh, I have full belief in them. Max, what are some of the building blocks you kind of noticed throughout the tournament of the season? Um, you know, I feel like we definitely played better and better as the season went on, you know, in the second half. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that got to get better. Um, you know, we're a new group. We weren't together for a long time. A lot of a lot of new faces, a lot of, you know, injuries. But uh, the only thing I can say is I'm proud of the guys for staying together. You know, we had dudes coming off the street and starting two days later. So, like, you know, I got a ton of respect for those dudes.